Hello again. I'm sorry it's been a while since my last tutorial. I have been extremely busy with a, uh, a project, uh, namely a game that I've been working on with um, a team that I've put together. A team of very talented artists. Um, so I've been really 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 busy with that because I've actually been writing the engine and I completely cross platform engine from scratch for it. So um, it is a, a, gonna be a next generation engine. Um, all of the spiffy lights and mapping and all of that good stuff, you know, lumen maps, steep parallax mapping, um, a bunch of buzzwords, um, basically anything you can imagine. Anything you've heard of been in some. Um, on to the tutorial. Today we're going to... Oh, and if you stick around as a treat, since it's been so long since I've done my last uh, video, uh, I'm going to, at the end of this clip, show you the level editor that I've been working on. Um, it's still a work in progress. Uh, it's good enough to actually make a level, save it out, and load it. Um, but, you know, I'm still working with the artist, making sure it's optimized for them. You know, it's got all the functions and everything that they need slash want. Uh, anyways, pointers. Uh, we're going to kind of get into the... Uh, find out exactly what a pointer is and exactly how you can work with them this time. So, real quick, I created a uh, class called people. It has a protected variable uh, integer called age. And then it has two functions, one to get the age and one to set the age. Notice it doesn't have a default constructor because you don't, or it doesn't have a constructor because uh, C++ will actually make a default constructor which does nothing, which is all we need this one to do. It is nothing. Uh, we don't need to initialize the age. I mean, I guess we could initialize the age to zero if we wanted to, but it's not important. Um, so I wanted to show you um, what it's like to deal with a a pointer um, to a class that you've made, as well as a built-in class like Integer. Um, now, your class most likely isn't going to have all of the overload, uh, all of the, won't have all of the operators overloaded. Um, we'll get into operators and overloading them in, in, probably in the next second, actually. Um, but until you do have all of them put in, um, it's not going to act exactly the same as the built-in functions. So, um, <coughs> we create a pointer to the class people, call it ppeople, and then we create two just normal objects to our, uh, to our, of our class called me and you. Uh, we set our pointer equal to a new, uh, instance of people, um, now these parentheses are going, it's going to actually call, whenever you call this, whenever you do this, whenever you do it for a single, uh, if you're not doing a dynamic array, you put the parentheses, and what this is, is it's calling the constructor. So if your constructor took in, um, took in parameters, you could, you know, you know, set the initial age of, of, of the person or whatever here. But, we don't, so we're not. So we go ahead and set the age. Uh, notice the fact that we're using the what I call the the pointer operator. Uh, it's the the dash and the greater than sign. And if you notice, whenever you're accessing the the methods from one of the uh, normal objects, non-pointer objects, you use the period. Um, so we set their ages. And then we, uh, I'm showing you here how to, uh, you know, it's the same as we've done before with calling these. Uh, and then we delete this pointer, uh, which is, it's not going, you never use delete without using new, and you never use new without using delete. Um, what delete is going to do is it's going to free up this memory that we allocated up here. This is allocating a new, uh, a new, section in block in memory that is the size of a, an object of type people. So 
we're going to free up that block of memory, and then we're going to set our pointer of people. This doesn't actually delete the pointer, it's just deleting that block of memory that we created with new up here. So people, the pointer still exists, it's just pointing at junk right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to point it to the address of the object me. So now when we call p, uh, p person get age, it's going to return the age of me. Again, we're doing it, but with you. Notice we're not doing delete because we didn't do a new new, we just pointed it to a new address. Alright, now on to uh, uh, the built ins if you have all of the, or if you have all of the relevant operators overloaded. Um, again, p age, me age, you age. Uh, set p age equal to a new integer. And uh, actually, an integer does have a constructor to where we could put the value of the integer into there, and it would initialize it. Um, but we don't necessarily have to, and we're not going to. Now, notice down here that we are using the. Um, uh, sorry, it's, it's late. Um, we're using the asterisk to tell to tell it that we want to actually access what this points to. We don't want the address, we want what this this pointer points to. We want to actually edit that place in memory. So that's what this is doing. Notice it's not the same as up here. But it would if we had the equal sign overloaded. Uh, now, we set the, all of these equal to their values. Notice they're the same as up here. So then we output uh, again, but notice we're, we're not wanting to output the address, we're wanting to output what's in at that block of memory, at that address. So we say, you know, the pointer says and put out what it says, and then we put out the address, just so you can see that this is in fact different addresses. Uh, again, we're going to delete what we created with new. Um, and then we set it equal to the the address of me age and this is showing you how to use uh, I just wanted you guys to A see that we are in fact editing that value and B show you how to use the, the, the operators um, we're gonna go ahead and let it know in these parentheses first of, that tells it first of all I want what's in that block of memory to be incremented um, so you got to make sure you have those parentheses if you're trying to increment the data instead of the address. Because you can increment the address. Um, that'll take it to the next block of memory of whatever... Uh, of It'll move it over to the next block of memory by an amount equal to the size of integer. So let's say that integer is 32 bits. Then it'll move it'll move the address of this pointer to uh, over to the next 32 bits and then if you did it again it would move it to the next 32 bits and on and on um, so that's one little trick that you can do with pointers um, again output it output it to address reset it increment it again set, output it again and here down, down here is the, the actual code executed. As you can see, our values are all set. Uh, these two increment like they're supposed to, and there your address is all different. All right, so now for the good stuff. select and pull back the camera and whichever one you have selected you can either have it blink or you can have its polygons out outlined. Uh, there are a lot of other features but I don't have time to show you. Sorry. I'll uh, 
Maybe I'll show them more later. The steep parallax, or this parallax mapping and the uh, 